A local science teacher is having an out of this world week, and it's only Wednesday, but that's because she's just been fa just found out. She's been given an all systems go to participate in microgravity science research with NASA while including her seventh graders in the process. Paula Tutman takes us to Troy, where the most exciting class right now is science. Science is such a cool class, you know, especially because, yes, indeed, we are learning about those things in the world around us, we already know, but there is still so much we don't know. Somewhere in this crowd of students, there's a teacher, and her name is Colleen Kane, and that's why what she is teaching is so important, because it's not just for her students, it's actually for all of us. Space, the final frontier. These are the lessons students are being taught at Larson Middle School in Troy. Why don't I have table one? Come and get goggles. By their own personal explorer, well, I mean, seventh grade science teacher Colleen Kane. So one of the tests that you have to do for the tank is pH, which is a measure of how acidic the water is. Who just found out this week that she is contributing to science experiments in collaboration with, get this, NASA, the Wisconsin Space Grant Consortium through the Zero Gravity Corporation in a program called the Embedded Teachers Program. Microgravity when you go like that. Yeah, and how you're, you're going to be designing experiments that are going to fly on the microgravity flight. Just 10 teachers across the nation were chosen to not only participate in microgravity by taking a flight and then conducting experiments that could contribute not only to learning, but space exploration in the future. We'll be weightless. It's a parabolic flight. So you do a series of parabolas and during those different, you're weightless for what I understand is about 20 seconds at a time. So you have to design experiments that you can test in those 20 second time frames. So here's how it works. After the holidays, all of the seventh graders will put their heads together to design as many as four different experiments. So the goal really is to get the students involved in microgravity research and use NASA technology and then analyze the results of the research when I return in May. The reason experimentation in microgravity, some of us call it zero gravity, but it's really called microgravity. The reason it's so important is while there is so much we as humans do know about so much around us, space and then deep space and then deep space travel is really the new frontier. You're removing that force so I think they're able to um, study proteins and things without that extra force of gravity. We're exploring the unknown and there's always something new to learn. Because we still need to learn how the body reacts to longer term microgravity for trips to other planets, we'll need to know how to grow food, replenish water, and a host of other things that we have to develop experiments for to get answers to. How humans can survive up there, I guess. Um, how we can sort of like grow civilizations up there. She just like makes me want to learn more about science and like other teachers didn't really want to be like I didn't want to learn more about like science with them but with her I wanted to do that more. Love teachers like this. Can you imagine kids these days students talking about growing civilizations on other planets. Very, very exciting. But again, Devin, this is so new to her. She hasn't even had a chance to start scheduling when the students will start working on experiments. So I guess we know what she's going to be doing during her holiday vacation because the students need to start designing the experience. I mean, excuse me, the exper experiments, easy for me to say. Uh, in January, she takes the flight in May. Yay! Exciting stuff. Oh, it's thrilling. I love the exercise, the mental exercise the kids have to go through of thinking about what you do with this precious 20 seconds at a time. Uh, what a great <laughs> scientific exercise. That's no so pressure. Great. Yeah, yeah, none at all. <laughs> all right, Paula.